Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I wanted to show you guys one of the appliances that we have in our home that keeps our homestead running smoothly. And it also saves us tons of money in the long run for us to be able to do what we really wanna do, which is travel. So I saw this freezer in Costco before I ever knew that it was like viral. Um, I purchased it maybe about a year and a half ago, something like that. We've had it for quite a while now. And I started noticing after I got it, how many times I saw it online. So I wanted to show you guys if anybody is interested in the Hamilton Beach seven drawer freezer from Costco. It is $3.99 online. I'm not sure how much it is in store. So I will go to my store and check that out and show you guys what the price is actually in store. Because sometimes Costco's prices online are different than they are in store. So we'll see what the price difference is there. I thought I would show you guys kind of our pros and cons for it, whether it was a good investment in the end or not. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna go with yes. Uh, and what we kind of store in it. So if you have been wondering about this freezer, I'm gonna try to give you guys some specs, even though if I'm honest, uh, if I just heard these numbers, I don't know that I would even know what it meant or uh, you know what I could expect from it. So this freezer is 11 cubic feet and I am 5'2", and it's probably three or four inches taller than me. So if it gives you an idea about how big it is, it is not a giant stand-up freezer, but I do feel like that the capacity for what we use it for works really well. Could we always use a bigger freezer? Sure. But I do think that the way that this one is set up, you get a lot out of the space that you have here. So we have four freezers in our home altogether because we buy a lot of stuff in bulk, especially meat. So we have two chest freezers, one that is 11 square feet, cubic feet, just like this one is. Uh, and then we have, it's either six or seven, I wanna say, cubic feet. In the end, I think that the stand-up ones, you're gonna have a lot more options as far as organization go. But because so much of what we buy in bulk is meat, I actually like having chest freezers specifically for that or anything that is like, in a big box, I like having chest freezers for things like stacks of freezer meals, that sort of thing as well. Anything that we're not opening the door for every day, it's really useful um, to still have those chest freezers because they do stay quite a bit cooler. But I would say that we use this one for enough stuff that it was definitely worth it for us. So I'm gonna walk you guys through what we keep in this freezer, and then I'll talk a little bit about Maybe some of the things I don't love about it. Okay, so we are gonna show you guys what is actually in this freezer, how much we store, so that you can get an idea, um, kind of what you can kind of expect, I guess. So this top freezer is a lot of like pre-made stuff, like pre-cooked hamburger. Uh, we have some manicotti in here, I think. Some uh, taquitos, that they just need to come out and go in the oven to be cooked. Any like, any stuff like the taquitos especially that I do as a, like a freezer meal, I like to stick in here whenever I can just so that my family knows easy access where it's at. I also really like to have like the bags of pasta because that's just easy stuff to make. So that is our top drawer. Our second drawer, we kind of start to have, we have some French toast in here, but we also have like stuff from the garden. So we have a lot of these bags of cucumbers that are shredded and frozen. If you've ever made tzatziki, then you know that you have to uh, try to squeeze as much water out of the cucumber as possible. We eat a lot of tzatziki in our house, and so it made a lot of sense to just freeze it because when it thaws, all the water comes out on its own. It's very easy. Um, so we have a lot of that in there. We have some hash browns in there. Uh, and then we start to have like an overflow of our frozen fruit in here. We do a lot of frozen fruit in our house. Oh, we still have some more cucumber in here. This third drawer. Uh, this is salsa from our garden that I made 
and just froze like this. It makes um, fresh salsa in the winter, I guess. Really, really easy and good. We have some bananas, frozen bananas. These are like the big bags from Azure. If you've ever purchased from Azure, the big five pound um, bags of fruit. So we have blueberries, bananas, and I'm pretty sure that's mango in there. So I could probably fit fairly easily four of those five pound bags in one drawer. So if you notice when we get to our fourth drawer, uh, this was actually one of the things that, the first thing that I noticed that was kind of a problem. These drawers are a little bit flimsy. So you have to be really careful to not overstuff them because if you do, when you push it back in, if you push it at the top here, it can break. So you wanna make sure that you're pushing and pulling on the actual handle. Um, so we have some more, some more salsa in here. Add some, uh, I think this is spinach from our garden. Um, and then we have a lot of frozen fruit in here. So we have raspberries from Azure. Uh, we have some sweet cherries, a bunch of blueberries down there. In the summer when strawberries were a plenty and very, very cheap, uh, we got a bunch of them when they were about 99 cents a pound and froze them. So we have nice peak season strawberries available to us. Um, all year round in the freezer. We do a lot of smoothies, especially in the winter time, because we're getting that fresh taste, um, but we're spending a lot less on our produce. So it's really nice to have um, a freezer in here available for that. This is our cheese drawer. It's actually dwindled a little bit more than I'm comfortable with, um, but we have a bunch of these mozzarella cheeses from I think these came from Sam's um, that we really like. We have some American and cheddar cheese in here that we split apart and uh, vacuum sealed ourselves. Some string cheese in here. And then we have several things of, uh, this is homemade mozzarella that we made from fresh raw milk that we got. And if you've ever had homemade mozzarella, I mean, you just can't beat it. It is like so creamy and delicious. And I really like having a specific drawer just for cheese because we go through a lot of cheese in this house. Uh, this drawer, so in our chest freezers, we have most of our meat, but I do like to keep just some ground beef and some chicken breasts in a drawer here because every Sunday, I like to pull out whatever meat we are going to use for that week. And this is the easiest meat to just pull out if we need like a meal specifically for like a night that we didn't expect. Um, maybe plans got canceled or whatever. This meat is very, very easy to cook and very, very quick to defrost just in a bowl of cold water. And so I really like having this available because this is not just me cooking. Uh, anybody in the family can come in and grab it. So we have our, our meat from the farmers that we really love. This bottom drawer, you'll notice, is very small. Um, so that's why I say that this is like six and a half drawers really instead because the other ones you can see, they go all the way to the back. Um, so they're about double, maybe even triple the size of this one. So I do have like some chicken in here that probably needs to get moved, but I like to just keep like things that are gonna get lost anywhere else uh, just thrown in here. So like we have like some leftover meat and some things like um, flatbread that we made and frozen orange juice, things like that, that maybe are a little smaller and are gonna get lost and just go in this tiny, tiny little drawer. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys is how easy it is to actually take these drawers out. So to take it out, it has handles and you can just pop it out and then you can see how far back that goes. And you can totally just use that. If you don't want the drawers, you can take them out and then you can just use it as uh, shelves. I think that the drawers do help it stay organized a little bit better, but there are some things that might make it a little bit easier if you're storing it as shelves. 
So that's it uh, for the inside of this. So as you guys can see, that is quite a bit of stuff that we keep in this freezer. Uh, it's perfect for any of those like little things. It's perfect for um, the meats that we do store in here because it is more of a short-term storage. Uh, and it's definitely perfect for any of those like garden bits that we have preserved that I wanna be able to not lose in a big freezer, in a chest freezer, uh, that might be a little bit smaller like the salsa. So a couple of things, I, I feel like that I've shown you guys a lot of pros that I really like about it. So I, I do wanna be fair and give a couple of the cons. So the cons are, I would say, a couple of things. First of all, that bottom drawer, uh, you saw how tiny that thing is. There's not a ton of stuff. I don't know that I could even fit a whole chicken in that, uh, but it does really, really well for things like that pepperoni that would probably get lost uh, in a bigger freezer. So I like it for that. I do feel like that we lose a lot of storage space for that. Uh, another thing that I don't love is how easily that drawer cracked. I will say that was kind of frustrating. So you do have to be kind of cautious to not overstuff your drawers. That's definitely what happened to us uh, because pushing it, I guess maybe because it got so cold, I don't know, um, but pushing it, it did not take much for that to crack. So that is something that you kind of do have to keep in mind that you definitely can't overstuff those drawers. And then the third thing that maybe it's a con or maybe it's neutral, I really don't know yet because we haven't had to do it, is that this does not defrost on its own. So you do have to defrost it. So like I said, we've had it for about a year and a half and we've never had to do that yet. I can see some places where frost is kind of starting starting to form where it might be a good idea before we fill chest freezers up to pull some of this stuff out so that we can kind of defrost it a little bit. Um, but the truth is I have a really, really simple method of defrosting a freezer. So I'm really not that scared of it. If you've ever done the steaming method, basically you turn your freezer off, you pull everything out of it. It really, can just stay on the counter because you're only going to have it out of the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes. And you're gonna put in, um, in this one I would probably do two pots or bowls of really, really, really hot steaming water, close the door, leave it closed for about 20 minutes. And then when you open it, that frost has uh, melted, you pull your stuff out, plug it back in cool it back down for 10, 15 minutes, and then you can put your stuff right back in. So it's a super easy method. If you guys are interested to actually see how I do that, stick around. I'm sure I will show you soon because both of my chest freezers pretty desperately need to be <laughs> defrosted. So I de definitely need to do that anyway. Um, but I haven't had to do that one this one yet. So I do know on a chest freezer, it's super easy because I just defrost it and then I throw towels in the bottom to kind of soak up all of that water. Obviously, this one is different because I'm gonna open it and water's gonna spill out. So that could be frustrating, but I, I don't know, I haven't done it yet. I'll keep you guys updated on that. In the end, I think that the organization that this thing provides, uh, the money that it was, because it was fairly inexpensive for a stand-up freezer, especially one with drawers in it, uh, I definitely think that it was worth it. Like I said, we have, had it for about a year and a half, and I would say in all of our bulk buying, in the massive use of this freezer, we have definitely saved that much money. In all, I would say it was a really good investment for our family. If you shop like our family does, if you have especially, you know, meat that you like to stock up on and cheese that you like to stock up on, if you have things that you're preserving from a garden, it is definitely, definitely worth the money. I would say if given the chance, I would purchase this thing over and over again because it has been such a huge blessing to our family. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any interest in how we use any of this stuff that is in our freezer, because there's no point in having the freezer if we're not gonna use the stuff that's in it, then make sure and subscribe because I like to show you guys how I cook out of my freezer and pantry. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.